and Catherine, not the day for the sapphires today, but how has your first February experience been at the hole? Um, yeah, I've had a great time. It's in um, Hong Kong, obviously, and it's, this has been somewhere um, I've always wanted to be. Um, so tick off a bucket list there, which is great. Um, and then obviously the main reason behind being here is just to try and pass on as much experience, knowledge, um, and, you know, little golden nuggets to these youngsters as much as possible. I hope Geeks has been listening. <laughs> yeah, well that uh, yeah. does bring me to Geek. So, um, a young, up and coming player, you've been playing in the under 19s this year, and then you come to Fair Break and you play alongside some of the legends of the game. Have you been picking Catherine's brains throughout the tournament? Oh, so much picking, starting with the bench today. Um, just the first time I met her, like from the start, I've been learning so much, so many different deliveries and so many different tactics just by sitting and observing the game. And just meeting all of these people once again, meeting Shabna Mismail always tells me she's her favorite, but I'm not supposed to tell everyone. Um, so yeah, I think I got a new favorite now too, so two best friends, I guess. Um, and how much have you found that your game has developed from being involved with Fairbrook? I think my game has developed a lot. I really um, enjoy learning all of this information here and taking it back to my country, hopefully using it on the field with my mates back home. Uh, and Catherine, we've seen you back in action, loving life with the bat. Yeah. How much have you enjoyed that this tour? Um, it was definitely something I didn't expect um, at all, to be honest. And after the first team meeting, I saw my name quite high. I was like, hmm, is this correct? Shall I check? Because um, I'm, I'm more than happy to take a back seat and do what I need to do. But it's all about, you know, others getting a go and, and having that exposure. Um, so I, I, I didn't expect to play as big a role as I have, but I've enjoyed it. Um, and I hope others have learned from <laughs> from how I've gone about it. So, yeah, I've had fun. Um, it's been great to bat up high up the order. I hope that happens again. That would be nice. So. And you've been around the game for a long time now, and you've seen the development we've had in England and in other countries, but now you get to see the Associate Nations getting that exposure and the experience. What's that been like for you? Yeah, I mean, that's it. You just want everyone to have equal and as good an experience and opportunity as you've always had. Your And I guess, obviously, I'm very fortunate and privileged to have had you know, the, the chances I've had and the exposure I've had. So I'm lucky and for these girls, for it to happen to them is is sort of like a dream come true. And so for us, it's about, we need to make their experiences the best that it can be um, and hopefully inspire them to be better um, year on year. And who knows what will happen? There's so many franchises around the world. If they don't get their opportunity with their own nation, then they can be pulled in um, to wherever they may be, which has already happened, I believe, this tournament. So, yeah, fingers crossed for that and the future of this. And Geek, what's the biggest thing you're going to take away from your second February invitation? Um, I think just taking away the fact that it's all about the learning experiences. It's not really about the results and just having fun on and off the field and making memories that last forever, get you through the tough times of cricket. Um, well, I'm really happy we finally got the, a win on the board. Um, obviously, we were, uh, well, didn't go our way as we obviously hoped, um, but to finish the tournament on a high is something we take as a positive. And did you feel at the end of your tornado's inning that you had enough on the board to defend? Uh, well, obviously, we, it was, what did we get? 116. Uh, obviously, I think uh, you always want a bit of a higher total to, um, yeah, to make sure you, you are able to defend. Um, but 116, like we've got the runs on the board, they still had to make it. And I think uh, Kat up front, she done a fantastic job um, to roll out their openings better. And from there it was, um, yeah, we felt confident. And Sita, three wickets for you today. How proud are you of your performance? Um, little bit, because uh, in previous matches I couldn't do my best, so Little bit, I'm happy. And you feel like the Tornadoes, despite not the results they wanted throughout the tournament, you finished on a high? Yeah, at least at least uh, at the end we got the win, so. 
And what does it mean for you representing Nepal here again at Febre? Um, it means a lot, like uh, in, back in Nepal, uh, Rubina, me, uh, our players, uh, they, 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 take, they take us as an idol. So uh, to represent uh, Nepal in this black, uh, big platform means like a lot. Uh, back in home, like uh, more players will uh, uh, get, um, like what to say? I mean, they, yeah, 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 they will inspire to see us playing this big platform, so. And Sarah, for you, you've been involved with Fair Break for a long time. How impressive has the development been from its inauguration to now having done almost finished two tournaments? Yeah, it's it's been fantastic to be fair. Like last year in Dubai, we started off with such a fantastic tournament, like a global tournament where everyone uh, is involved in from like, I'm not sure how many nations, but so many different nations. It's fantastic, I think. Um, to be able to get the exposure, get the opportunity for everyone here is really good. Um, Sam really wants a mention up there. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, fantastic to have a second tournament like this in Hong Kong. Uh, it's, been, it's been great uh, for everyone, I think. And um, you see everyone improving from last year already into uh, well, in this year. So I think uh, that's what it's all about. And um, yeah, hopefully from here on we can keep, keep going. And I guess it's one of those things that can be about more than just the cricket. It's about the sort of global relations you build with players and people involved. Yeah, definitely. There are so many different... commentators as well. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely. There are so many people from different countries. So to be able to um, yeah, get to talk to them, learning about their cultures, their languages and their countries, uh, it's been something really good as well. Uh, so on and off the field, I think for everyone, this is an amazing, um, amazing opportunity. Way home. Question for you. <laughs> right, a question from Dipesh Pandit to Sita. What are your major takeaways from the tournament and what other things apart from experience will you take back home with you? Um. <laughs> uh, I, I, um, I'll, I'll take like uh, I mean, friendship, friendship with the different cultures, different uh, uh, players, and uh, next thing is like more experiment, uh, playing with the uh, again the big names. Uh, it means a lot, so I will take experiment. And I guess dealing with the highs and lows. Of the tournament as well and final question for you how proud are you to be able to put in that iconic celebration and can you tell us about that one uh, no I, I i just want to celebrate my wickets that that that's the celebration nothing more than that so that's it